see you have these two logs here on the left side. I'm going to condense them into one single log, log six of. Here I have positive and positive. So both of my uh, inputs come from positive logs, meaning they're going to be factors in the numerator. So I don't need to write a fraction here. I just leave it in this form here. So there's my log six of that product is equal to two. So this is step one. I condense into a single log. Okay, I still need to solve for my x. I can't, or in this case, the, the way to get the x out from the, that input of the log and be able to solve it is to rewrite it in its exponential form. So base 6 to the power of 2 is equal to the input. So 6 squared is equal to 8 times 9x plus 4. And now it becomes just a linear equation. Okay, I have 36 is equal to distribute my 8, 72x plus 32. Subtract 32 from both sides, give me 4 equals 72x, divide by 72, and I get my answer. 4 goes into 4 once, goes into 72, 18, and so that would be my solution. And now there's one thing that you have to make sure you do on these, and that is check your solution. Okay, you, when you plug this number back in, you have to make sure that it doesn't give you a negative inside your log. So if I plug in a 1 over 18 here inside this log, you don't need to know that its value specifically, but you need to know, is that going to be a negative number? 9 over 8 plus 4? No. Okay, and this one doesn't have a variable in it. So you're safe there. If you happen to get a negative answer, then that would be an extraneous solution, and potentially it does not exist. All right, so let's take a look at this problem here. So the first thing we do is we try to condense this into one single log. So log 5 of, uh, we have a positive and a positive, so these are going to be products inside or in the input of the log. Okay. Once we get a single condensed log, we're then going to rewrite it in its exponential form. So base 5 to the power of 1 is equal to the input. So 5 to the first equals 7 times 8x minus 8. And we can solve from here. Distribute the 7. And then move your constants to the same side. So if we add 56 to both sides, and then divide by 56, we get our solution. 61 over 56. So again, Double check really quickly, make sure when you plug that back in that you don't get any negatives. Here's the one to be concerned with. As long as this is a number greater than one, you're okay. It is, so that checks and you're fine. If you have a multiplier in front of your log, you can either, when you condense it, you can move it into the log and as a power, or in this case, the easier thing to do would be just to divide both sides by five first. That gives you ln of 4x plus 1 is equal to 9 fifths. And then you can move on to the second step. So this is condensed into one single log. You can then rewrite it in its exponential form. Our unwritten base for a natural log is e to the 9 fifths is equal to this expression. And then you solve from there. So subtract 1 from both sides and then divide by 4. So this right here is your exact answer. Okay, if you enter that into this uh, entry field, okay, you'll get it correct. And it should show in the preview what the decimal equivalent is. The decimal equivalent is uh, 1.2624 approximately.